so dear students today i am going to explain how to write c language program and how to execute c language program in mobile phone so please uh, those who don't have laptop or pc don't worry we can also write the c language program in mobile phone and you can execute the c language and we can see the outputs okay so before going to the concept please subscribe my channel anu computer education so in future whatever the videos i am going to upload in my channel so immediately you'll get a notification so all other subjects important questions the specially the computer subjects complete uh, okay videos will be uploaded in my channel like c language next coming semester rdbms what are the subjects are having now it will be useful for all the universities in telangana usman university ku mu because the common syllabus is there so it will be useful what are the videos i am making in my channel so all these videos will be useful for everyone please don't skip the video uh, you watch the video till end so you will get a clarity that how to write and how to execute if you skip you are going to miss the concept so take the pen and pencil so whatever the pen and uh, book so whatever the uh, concepts i'm just i'm ex steps i'm explaining so just make a note of all, all those things and you can also practice the same program in your mobile phone okay so without uh, wasting uh, time so we directly we are entering into the practicals so what we have to do go to the play store open the play store so go to the search box okay search box and type coding c++ app so this is the best app so we have many apps are there so among these apps so this will be the better one and easy one so we can e use easily so once just wait for some just wait for uh, 10 to 15 seconds the app will be installed please don't skip the video so i'll be telling you some important points if you skip the video you are going to miss the points okay so you know whenever you want to write any c language program so compulsory what we have to follow the basic structure so compulsory you need to remember so what is the meaning of basic structure document section definite link section definition section and next one is uh, okay global declaration and void main after that uh, st uh, local statements and set of executable statements and function one function two user different function so these are the different types of things which we are going to follow so whatever the order which is given in the basic structure we have to follow in the same order so it is not compulsory that uh, compulsory that we have to use global declaration definition section it depends upon your program requirement so if it is there you use it otherwise leave that concept so but order is important okay so now once the app is installed i'm going to explain so how to write the program and how to run the program and how to save the program and everything i'm going to explain within five minutes five seconds the app will be installed so almost it is done so 79 percent is completed so once this is uh, installed so immediately by default when you open the software okay when you open the software by default one program is already written so the prototype so how the program will be there the prototype is already written so we have to make certain changes because what software is we are using coding c++ so the same software we can also use for c language and c++ so don't worry so maybe you are downloading the c++ compiler the c++ compiler is also can be used for c language also so c++ is an extension of c language only so it is derived from c language only so now almost it is done so installing so just click on the now it is scanning okay security scan now within uh, uh, one second now it will open just directly i'm going to my screen now where this app is installed now the app is installed just uh, just open this app just open this app so by default uh, it will it will show you c++ program because by default it will be showing the C++ prototype. So no. So what is the first statement is given? Hash include IO stream. So IO stream is header file. So it is a C++ header file. So don't write IO stream here. You write hash include stdio.h. stdio.h. So why we are writing stdio? Because we are writing not C++ program. We are writing C language program. So don't leave. Uh, remove the using namespace std. So what is that namespace? Uh, using namespace std in the next coming classes you come to know please don't remove that statement so next to uh, after this is link section na? as include means link section after that next to definition section so as per this program so my question is i want to display hello world this is the first program in c language hello world message i want to display on the screen so glow definition section is not required global declaration is not required so i have i left those statements after that void main the main function so in maybe in uh, notes you written void main so here i am using into main so what is the difference because this is a different software every software will use different different when i am going to the turbo c there we have to write void main 
now when I'm, when you are using the mobile software here we are right into main so please okay this point should be clear so c out so c out is nothing but a c plus plus output statement so what what subject we are learning here c language so we have tried in order to display any message on the screen we need to use printf function so clear na why i am writing printf function in printf you know already so here don't worry so whatever uh, the symbols you want that almost the symbols are okay the symbols are located here so in that here so you can make use of these symbols opening flower bracket double quotation semicolon everything is uh, given here so you can make use of these these things so after this what i need to do i want to display the message hello world na so double in double quotation i will write hello okay world hello world okay after writing this close the bracket you know already every c language program ends with every statement ends with semicolon so return zero return zero don't remove the statement so what is return zero in the next coming class you can come to know okay so after writing the program so on the top of the screen you are having one option what is that option run option is there so you can make use of this option just click on this uh, run option then program will be compiled you know already whenever you write any c language program that has to be compiled once the compilation is success so you'll get the output hello world so this this is the output of the program so remember so once you uh, press the back button of your mobile phone it will go to the programming screen so if i miss semicolon here if i miss semicolon here after writing the printf statement and the same program you run it so you can see now you are getting the error so i already explained in c language even if you do simple comma or pull stop whatever the mistakes you are going to do the complete program execution will stop so that is the thing you need to remember so because when i when you are learning c language means nothing but the what are the syntax which are given in the language that everything has to be followed strictly so this is the thing so you need to remember so here what i am trying here semicolon again once uh, if you make any changes to the program again the program must be recompiled so again you need to compile the program so again you will get after compilation you will get a message called hello world so this is the first program in c okay so i think everything is clear so don't forget about what is written zero and using namespace std in the next coming classes you can understand because in one uh, in first class itself you cannot understand every, anything so in the next so please make use of all the videos which i am going to upload in my channel the complete c language videos will be uploaded so you can go to the my channel anu computer education in anu computer education c and c++ uh, one uh, uh, playlist is created in that everything will be uploaded so please make use of uh, that playlist and learn the subject without going to the tuition and anything by sitting at home okay just open my channel and you can learn everything in detail okay so thank you so no problem after writing the program you can also save this program in your mobile phone so just go to the menu option on the top of the screen you are having menu option so once go to the menu option you are getting the option called save or open so just click on the save option so it will dis now it will ask one permission say allow so here you give any name don't uh, uh, remove dot c++ just to remove this today's date and time something and here suppose what is the program this is uh, hello so what program you are writing that program name you write hello world so just this is a program name is hello world say okay so the program will be opened in future if you want to open the same program just go to the file and you are having the option called as open by making use of this you can open your uh, what is the whichever the program you have written already that you can open it so please subscribe my channel anu computer education